said, my name is Tom Parker, and uh, not only am I a consultant with the WinJack Solutions, but I'm also the main contributor and force behind the pdfscripting.com website. Now, uh, what I do, like Lori said, is all the programming activities that surround Acrobat and PDF, and of course, form data handling is a big part of that, and it's also a topic that is more and more often coming up on the Acrobat user forums. We've been answering more questions about that. So I'm going to try and answer a lot of the common issues that come up. And uh, But what I'm going to do is I am going to start with a general overview. Now, Lori, um, I'm having a bit of a problem showing my uh, presentations, sharing my screen. There we go. There you go. <laughs> okay. I cracked it. All right. So are we showing the screen right now? Looks good to me. OK. And what about the audio? Is the audio coming through? I Is think it? Ryan's working on that right now. Oh, OK. Well, if, uh, if they can't hear me, then. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. We have, yes, this audio and video is good. All right. OK. So we're, we're up and running. All right, so everyone should be seeing my first slide, the intro slide for the, uh, for, the, for the presentation. And you'll notice that I'm displaying this in Acrobat. So this is a, uh, the presentation is a PDF file, and I'm displaying it in Acrobat 8. So uh, and everything I show you is going to be valid for uh, several versions of Acrobat, versions, basically version 6 through version 9. So I'm using 8 to uh, step back one version, if, uh, if that's where you're at. And you'll notice there's a button on this page that says Demo Files Attached. If you click on this button, it shows the attachment window. And you can see there's a couple of demonstration files in here. So in fact, this presentation file is the file that will be available for download at the end of the session. And I would suggest you do it because it contains some links and a couple of demonstration files that I'm going to be showing during the presentation. And uh, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on any one page. So the pages that do have links on them don't try and write them down. Just download the presentation at the end of the session. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with an overview. Even though I'm going to be answering specific questions, I'm going to try and approach this from a high level, talk about what is data handling, and some methodologies and approaches for dealing with data handling within Acrobat. And of course, the most of the time we're going to spend on exactly how uh, we're going to be implementing some of these strategies within Acrobat. Now, this is a more of an overview kind of presentation because data handling itself is an enormous topic. And I'm not going to be able to get into the little bitty details of it with, within the session. But we are going to touch on a few of those things. And like I said, some of the details are written in the presentation. And so if you download that, you'll have that information with you. And of course, along the way, we're going to try and answer some of the common questions that have been asked on the forum. So this is our high level view to start out with what's data handling. Basically, from you know, a very high level view, data handling is just moving data from one location to another. And it can mean an awful lot of different things in different situations. For example, it can mean pre-populating a form on the server side and pushing that up to the user. Uh, it can mean moving data from one server to another server to databases between servers. All right, these are all data handling topics. But what I'm going to focus on specifically in this presentation is what's probably the most common issue in dealing with forms in Acrobat, and that's data collection. So we're collecting data from the clients. And within that, we're going to be talking mostly about uh, these topics as they affect forms in Acrobat. So here's the, here's the high level view. Data collection uh, from the client is basically the user enters some data and then transfers that data to back to the organization or the people who sent out the forms. Now, this seems pretty simple on the surface. But you, know, you have to remember that there's a lot of different ways that, differ, that uh, data can be transferred. We have different form types within Acrobat, lifecycle forms and Acrobat forms. And of course, on the uh, organization side, there's different ways to collect that data and deal with it on their side. So in fact, this topic can get fairly complex. And the exact implementation that you use 
very much depends on your setup and where you're coming from. So uh, just as an example of this, uh, say, for example, that you had uh, to get a license for your, your boat carrier. You have to go down to the DMV, fill on a form, and probably wait in a long line to get the form, fill it out by hand, wait in another line, hand it back to the person behind the desk at the DMV, and then they process it. And some weeks later, you get uh, your license for your boat trailer. Now, this is a manual process. Uh, and it's the way we used to do things. But it's exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, the manual process is a perfectly valid way of transferring data. And it has all those components that you'd use in an electronic process. We have the form, and you have the person behind the desk who's actually going to be doing hand validation of the form and hand processing of that data once they receive it. But of course, what we're interested in is the electronic form of that. And there are several different ways. And of course, this doesn't just apply to Acrobat. Uh, this can apply to HTML forms or any other kind of